All right, so we are back at the auctions and you're probably wondering to yourself, hey guys, hold up, what happened to your Commodore? Um, we've still got it, it still hasn't sold. And um, yeah, don't worry, we're definitely gonna go through what has happened with this Commodore. Um, let's put it this way, it's left a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. I'll be very reluctant to, not reluctant, but maybe just look a bit harder into the car itself if we decide to go Holden again. Um, but that is for a separate video. We will go through what's going on with the Commodore and what's our, uh, I guess, way out of it. Um, in the meantime though, unfortunately because of the whole Commodore taking up so much time, we haven't been able to put out videos and we actually have quite a bit of money left over from the Commodore. Uh, well, not over from the Commodore, but we didn't blow our whole budget on the Commodore. We've got about five to seven grand left. Um, so we thought, hey, we can still go to the auctions and we can just get a second car while that one does whatever it needs to do. Um, so that's what we're doing today. And right off the bat, we are starting with this 2013 Ford Focus Sport. Uh. All right, so Ford Focus Sport. Not the most exciting car, but you know, it's cheap. It's, I mean, if this one's running fine, I don't know how reliable they are. Um, so I thought, hey, let's try something cheap, something kind of first car-esque. Right off the bat, um, the car is very dirty. Uh, you can see on the bonnet here, a ton of dirt. Windscreen, ton of dirt. Roof, ton of dirt. These wheels I don't think have ever been cleaned before. We've got some marks here. Looks like he's scraped something or something scraped it. But apart from it just being very dirty, it's quite good. The car is running. We, this is Brisbane. You do need to stay in the aircon. As you can see in here, yes, it, it desperately needs a good old clean. But everything's like, everything everything's seems pretty there. good. We've got a receipt. Um, what looks like a bloody receipt, so we're not going to touch that. All in all, a really good car we get. We'll pop them on it, and uh, if you guys are wondering, wow, you guys found the hood release real quick. Uh, no, we didn't. We've already done a take and have <laughs> realized we're not recording. Engine bay, same as the rest of the car. Really, really dirty. Um, coolant level looks okay. It's running very smoothly, not jerking around or rattling too much. No metal noises. And next to no blow by. Anyway, it's it's hot as shit, so let's go inside. And we'll see. Morgan had trouble closing this before. See how he goes. Nah, you suck. Give it here. You ready? BMW owners know what this is. <laughs> I swear I did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, coming inside immediately, it smells. Uh, a smoker definitely owned this car because it is very potent. So if we were to pick this up, it is in definite need of one of those, uh, was it the bombs? What do you call them? Uh, Scent bombs, basically. You, you would have seen it in the Commodore video. Really good at getting rid of smells. The steering wheel, it just needs a really good clean. There's some white liquid that's gone hard on there, which I really don't want to touch. The rest of it is pretty good. One complaint I do have though, for a 2013, that's a small screen. My phone has a bigger screen than that screen. Yeah. That's so weird. Um, but yes, the aim of the game is really just first car. That's our market. What is that? So let's see, we've got a blood receipt, a white stain, and an instrument of some kind. Is it a, it looks like a funnel, Very but odd. it doesn't open that much. Like it doesn't open up that much. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically, first cars at the moment with fuel being as expensive as it is not many people want to spend the money like you've got to buy a commodore and then you've got to pay for the fuel to run the commodore um so cheap economical cars are where it's at in my opinion um 
and uh, everyone everyone needs a first car so this would be perfect everything seems like it's working um, we are missing the cap or not missing but it broke off for the sock the what do you call it Smoke socket a, thing a yeah that yeah. thing we, we know cars um, but yeah all in all this car is actually quite nice it's just uh, mm. dirty this would be a really good uh, car to do like a before and after clean but anyway, this is looking very promising. It's only done 175,000 Ks. Um, so, you know, it's it's up there, but it's nothing crazy, especially for a 2013 car. This is now near on 10 years old. So it's, it's not doing too bad. So not too bad. We'll go on to the next one though. So as I get absolutely blinded by the sun, should have brought some sunnies. Yep. Next car is right here. It's actually presents really nicely a, actually I don't know the year of it. I think it's a 2012? 2012, something like that. Oh, maybe 2000, 2008? Here you go. It's 2008. 2008, okay. Right here. <laughs> the 2008 Suzuki Swift. Yeah, so we've had one of these before, um, and it did quite well. We did get quite a bit of profit out of it, actually. I think it, on a percentage basis, the most profit we've made out of a car. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's a good reason for it is, ooh, that's a yeah, it's decent a bit, ding. Um, yeah, oh, actually, see, oddly, the paint looks really good at the, t at the front of the car. places, and then not in the other. Yeah. And we've got a big old... The paint's moving. That is too. If we... Feel. <laughs> it's like... It shut me. It's squirting. I, don't, I hope you can see that on the... Yeah, that's disgusting. There's so much of it. There's yeah. water in the paint. I think it's like the water's between the clear coat or something. And then the... Yeah, it's, it's not good. It's um, um, pretty nasty, but I mean, the paint at the front seems good. It is bizarre. Like this paint right here on the door is like beautiful. That's quite bizarre. I reckon it's been in a crash and it's had the top resprayed, side, front, even the headlights look brand new. Yeah. But what would do the roof as well? Did they flip the car, do you reckon? I reckon something <laughs> happened on the side here. That's why it's done that. Oh well, try start it. Yeah, well interior looks pretty good actually. Looks very clean inside. What is this? A little wooden. It actually feels really nice though. It's got power. Oh Jesus like Christ. What? Just oh. full ball. Um. Oh yeah, start it up. Perfectly. It's a lot cleaner than our one. It doesn't have a rocker cover leak. I think though it is bizarre in that some places are really some places tidy. it's really clean, some it's quite dirty. So I think that's a good indication of someone's obviously tried to clean it. Is this all coolant? Yeah. Or water that's all cool. over the battery. And you got a brand new thermostat. Yeah. So, so something's happened there. Yep. So yeah, I think it's definitely been an occlusion before. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it runs pretty well. The only concern though is just the paint, really. Um, and then obviously the dent in the little but door bit. Cheap enough. Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. If you can get <laughs> it cheap enough. But um, yeah, that's that's weird. I don't like that. But you can see here, like, they've 
Like, look at the difference in... Yeah, what is, is that tape? I don't know. Like... Yeah. So, I think... It's rough, but in the places where it's not Yeah, it's, the it's rough the and slightly dodgy, but I think it runs really well. Yeah. The interior is super nice, and the front end, engine-wise, everything seems brand How new. How many Ks? 180... 185. Alright, so it's... Right. So, again, this is... This is our segment, is first car. This would be a good first car. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's promising. It just depends on the price it goes for. Obviously, you have to be somewhat cheap where because someone looks, looks yeah. past those imperfections, but yeah, I think definitely keep an eye on it. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Definitely. On, to the, on to the next, next one. one. one is right in front of us it is a very boring, boring and standard <laughs> Mazda 3 <laughs> uh, yeah gold well, standard Mazda 3 um, right away spot the difference headlight cover not headlight cover quarter panel the right shape quarter panel not the right shape so this is a aftermarket option that Mazda sells you it um real famous on their time attack cars basically it just pushes the air into mm. the guard and like shoots it back out yeah so it's for like turning right yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, you can turn right faster than left or actually no it's for turning left turning left because it's pushing but then it drags left, so you're doing a bit of... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, I, I don't know, motorsport, they, people understand that. Yeah, it's still on the surface rust as well, where it's obviously, that was the, the point it got hit. Looking at it though, like, it no, that's wasn't... weight reduction there. <laughs> I don't think the hit was that hard. No. It's only just chipped it, really. I reckon someone's fallen on it with their ass, and that was the thing on their jeans. <laughs> And then, butt <laughs> crease. <laughs> I mean, very well could be. Everything else seems fine though. Wheels and tyres seem pretty good. Cracking the bumper there. Yeah. Oh, same here. I think they've hit something and it's cracked, spider cracked a little bit. Just deformed the bumper a little bit. Tyres are good. Alright, they get in. Let's see if Morgan can get this one to start. Oh. Ooh, I love that hinge. Oh. <sighs> what? Did you see that? Ooh. So someone sat on their quarter panel and caused the uh, driver to spew. Oh, I, look at that, it's got mold. Yeah. Oh, what's that? There's a hole. <sighs> that's a screen. Are you sure it's meant to be like that? No, it's not meant to be like that, but that's what, how it is. I don't even know when to put there. the GoPro there. Oh, it's there now. Oh, yeah, Wait, I mean, odds on it not starting. Oh, I think it's... Oh, it's got power. Okay. So I, already... I don't think it's going to start. Oh, you bastard. There you go. Right up. We've got a free Monopoly chance card. Bring you around for the tasty cup holders. Oh, man. Does the aircon work? I mean, we are talking a lot of smack about it, but at the end of the day, this is the price range that we're in. Amazingly, mm. the screen does work. Yeah, it's it does just actually. The it's just a little... I don't know if you can thing. see that there, but... Yeah. It's only got 160,000 Ks as well, so not too it's bad. It's a hard life. First car, what do you want? Something reliable, not too many Ks, air con. Oh, that tip needs to be fixed. Yeah, that won't like pass through. It's like wavy really. and like yeah. you're going to feel it on your finger. Look how high the handbrake is. Can you get Mr. It Drifter! You can't literally, the armrest stops you from so, doing it anymore. James is the reason why all these cars at the auctions are broken. No way, it's like that when I got it. This car doesn't excite me as much as the Ford did, or the yeah. Swift for that matter. I think there's a lot of little things. That specifically, the dash bit, like that's a big job. Yeah, I don't even know how you go Unless about you can just, fixing that. Yeah, that's is my, that what it is? The dash is just bolted. Because if, if the fix for this is taking the whole dash out, no. Nah. No way. We'll do it. We'll soldier on. Yep. I'm going to just say it. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like it either. It, although it seems fine, I just think this would be the kind of car that a person would go, oh, yeah, I'll go have a inspect that, and then they'll get here and they'll just go, oh, no. 
Yeah. There's not to mention like that quarter panel, that's 200 bucks at least. Mm. That screen, unknown, but no one's probably gonna buy it with that screen like that. No. Um, and then the rest of the car is just Gunji. We have mold on the shifter. Yeah. And old McDonald's drink in the cup holders. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Um, yeah, anyway, I have got my hopes, I think on the last one, but mm. everyone has told me avoid them like the plague so we're going to look at one and potentially buy one that. no 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 no. the swift then no, no. no no not the swift no people don't say avoid swifts like the plague yeah no they said about the focus right no not about the focus it's the last one what are we looking at the one that you were like really why there was one out the front i kind of forgot what we're looking at oh, all right i guess we'll find out together let's go of this episode everyone has told me to stay away from them but i know more than them so we're not not really i don't i'm not that self-absorbed but this is a mini cooper s all right so right off the bat um i know nothing about these and neither does morgan no um, we've been told by many people, never ever buy a Mini Cooper. I don't know why, but this one caught my eye. Um, right off the bat. Absolutely brand spanking new tires. The tires look amazing. The paint job, I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love, it's like a chalky kind of gray. Got some decals. Uh, this is Camden. Is that somewhere in England? I don't know. Shouldn't Laurie know that? Maybe. Um, all right, I do love how the window is all one thing. Aren't these the ones that the tail lights are actually the Union Jack? No, oh, no, 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 that's the newer ones. ones. That's the newer oh, okay. ones. But this is still a, just a glorified BMW, I'm pretty sure. The door handles, they feel so weird. It's kind of funky. All right, so this is the, the one part of Ooh. Mini Coopers, the ones that I've seen. It's got a sport button oh, that I don't like. Pretty nice. Things oh. that I like. Let's set this up because it's actually surprisingly roomy. Like yeah. all things considered. Um, like Morgan and I aren't the smallest gentlemen in the world. And um, hmm. it's not terrible. How do I start this thing? Oh my God. This is the key. Wait, you wait. slide it so in. Show these people. All right, right in here, and then... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this, this is not the volume. Uh, is that? Bye. Volume down here. Oh, why do people do that? Okay, let's, let's try this. Um, I don't think it's got a battery. No. Oh, that was so annoying. Something here? This feels like something, but... <laughs> All right, bear with us, we'll get someone <laughs> and we'll see if this thing starts. We got it started. Um, and as Morgan was telling me, apparently there was a, quite a bit of smoke at the back. That's not what you want. Do you want me to rev it a little bit while you're at the back? Yeah, we'll have a look. No. Do it again. That's water. It does sound quite ticky. There, there were, is one scary thing, and that's when you listen to it. Mm. Sings just a little bit chugga chugga. What the hell, let's wrap it a bit more. There is definitely a rotational tick to that engine as you get higher in the rev range. Mm. So, yeah, again, we don't know these cars at all. <laughs> so mm. that could just be how they are from the factory. I know the A45s are a little ticky from the factory. <sighs> I don't want to run the risk though. You also got to ask, why is it a at an auction? Yeah, you can. there's definitely an aftermarket intake and charge pipe. 
There's a EVC throttle controller. So the car has been a little, not crazy amount tampered with, but it has mm. had things done. Uh, we'll turn it off. So first up, we have the Focus. <sighs> Smelt like emphysema. Uh, then we had the Swift that was leaking water out of its paint. Um, then we had the Mazda, which had the optional aerodynamic package. Sorry. And, um, what? <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever said that before, that there's water leaking <laughs> out of their paint. <laughs> and uh, we've had the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Tick Tick Boom Mini Cooper. Um, so, take your pick. I'm going emphysema focus. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm going to say focus is probably the way to go. It's a shame, because this I love the paint. It's growing on me. It's just that engine does not sound happy. And at the end of the day, we've already got one car that's proving problems. The last thing we need is two cars proving us problems. So we really will probably take this safe. And I think the safe bet would be a leaky paint Swift mm. or an old windbag Focus. Let us know down below which one would you choose. Do you have a shite box that you want to sell us? <laughs> but most importantly, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, we are inching closer to a thousand subscribers. Um, we'll see you in the next one. Let it get through the